Hi. How's it going? Good. How Kenton. are you? Hi, I'm Kayla. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for coming out. It's a bit of a drive. Oh, absolutely. No, looking forward to the tour. So I thought we could go and check the cattle out right away this morning. Perfect. And they're just down here on the bend and okay. towards the crows. Awesome. I already see my sisters out here. And uh, one of the things that Rena and I have really worked to do over the last few years is is color cow herd. Yep. Uh, we've really tried to keep females that have good structure, um, who perform well. Even temperament to us matters. We need to be able to work with them. Yep. Hi, Rena. Hi, Leah. I would say that farming with our family is a blessing or a gift. It's something that Rena and I were so grateful to have the opportunity to be born and raised into a family farm and have that so that we could grow up with it. It's something that we're very fortunate. It brings us together. It kind of keeps us together. It's a common bond that we always have as a family. When I think about what makes our operation a bit more unique is my dad and mom, they had three daughters. And so, you know, it was always kind of thought back then anyway that females might not farm, right? And so something that's unique is that us girls have really taken on the opportunity to be involved with the cattle farm. So uh, what's one of the favorite cows you've ever bred? Her name was Girlfriend. Uh, she raised quite a few good calves for us and one of her calves we actually took as a steer to Calgary Stampede. So it gave me a pretty, pretty neat experience to do that as well. So what surprised you the most about your visit to our farm today? I think really, what surprised me the most is really how much similarity there is between us. We have the same love for animals. We both have the same kind of interest in their, their welfare and their, their well-being and it all comes down to family. It's important to have family involved with this and that's a big part of our lives. Oh, I'm glad you saw that today. Hey Kayla, hey. welcome to Rebel Holsteins. Thanks. Come on in. I made it. So what would be one thing that you think is unique about your operation? Okay. So what's unique about our operation is I feel we have a pretty high uh, combination of both high milk production and uh, confirmation. The cows that uh, we are milking right now, their genetics say that they shouldn't be able to milk the volume that they are. So it's pretty rewarding to, uh, to see that with management we can uh, achieve these goals when the genetics say we really can't. So what would be one of the things that you're most proud of, Kenton? I'd say definitely what I'm most proud of is uh, where the farm started and where we are now. We started in the 60s in this uh, this very original 50 feet of the barn, milking just a few grade Holstein cows, and we've taken another level, moving into a, a new robotic barn. Those cows are always getting milked all the time. They can come when they want, and we can just do our chores around our life. It's extremely rewarding to see my daughter, to have her have that same excitement when that new embryo calf's born. It's, uh, it's truly rewarding and uh, it definitely makes it all worthwhile. So we're both lucky enough to farm with our families. Yeah. How would you describe farming with your family? I'd say farming with family was, it was a privilege to grow up on a farm and uh, it's, it's a privilege to raise my daughter on a farm. Uh, being able to see her in the morning, see her at lunch and put her to bed and, and work around my schedule, it's as well just to be able to work outside in the outdoors. It's, it's everyone's dream that's an outdoor person. So Kayla, what, uh, what surprised you the most about coming to visit Rebella? Uh, one of the things that I find super surprising is yeah. that how much overlap we have in our goals and our values uh, between our two operations, but more so than that is just uh, the intensity of the amount of work and care it takes for a dairy. I knew a bit of it coming into it. I've never actually been on a full dairy yeah. and seen it all in, in the works, but seeing how much you guys are out here and how much care it takes and uh, dedication, I guess, it's, it's impressive. Thanks so much, Caleb. I'm glad we got this experience.